I lie in bed awake, paralyzed by silence. My alarm rings, and I peer through a small slit created by my eyelids parting. Sunlight shining in through my window, bringing with it a new day. I feel the coldness of the day outside as the sky's blue light peeks in through my blinds. I hit the snooze button and roll over, both anxious in anticipation, with my mind alert and active, yet also paralyzed in resistance to move or confront this day of my life. I feel suspended in indecision, like a million little explosions all contained inside my calm, sleepy exterior. I feel the fire of curiosity calling me to look at my phone, but I resist with a stubborn defiance like a child ignoring a command. I enjoy, mm, even savor, this moment of ignorance where I am uninformed, where any potential possibility exists, where the choice has not been made in the infinite liminal space between cause and effect. What will the effect be? I wonder and immediately shut down any analytical thoughts that explore the possibilities laid before me in my own mind. I feel an expansive space inside of me, like an infinite void that is full of gravity and matter and nothingness all at once. It feels like the world is standing still around me, knowing that all that could be done by the people and civil democracy has passed. I sit suspended in the unknown spaces of victory and defeat. Any outcome is possible. I feel my heart pulling my optimism to the forefront of my awareness, yet nagging doubt whispers for me to temper my expectations and let go of attachment to an outcome. My mouth is parched. I am paying the toll at the gate with my angst and anticipation before I cross the threshold into the space where things happen, where choices are made and actions are taken. I feel that this very moment, the moment right before now, and the moment immediately after when the choice has been made is all one sound. I feel suspended between two panes of glass. The edges and borders dissolve as I see both sides. I am neither here nor there. I can feel the ignorance leaking from me, dwindling with the time that spans between me and my moment of discovery, when I will know. I feel frozen in a moment, insulated from the next four years. The magic of potential drains into two possibilities. I avoid my phone, prolonging the inevitable. I like my place of ignorance, where I am suspended in jello levitating above, touched by neither past nor future. Patiently waiting, I draw this moment out to each beat of my heart. The pulling in of air into my lungs and each breath out, marking time. I exist in the pause between inhale and exhale in the space that holds the breath at the top of my inhale as I feel my muscles 
begin to relax cell by cell to release and exhale i feel a palpitating hum that flutters the energy inside of me the sense builds and i feel a pressure to break the ice i hold the rock that can crack the sheet of frozen stillness calm flatness that is infinitely expanding in all directions around me I feel its weight in my hands. As I hold my phone, it awakens, lighting up as the lock icon unlocks itself with the image of my face. I navigate to the news to see who the president will be. The trees are still outside my window. There is no breeze, no air to herald the winds of change in this stalemate stillness. There is nothing to be known now. Just anxious speculation and an attempt to control the narrative of the unknown. Both candidates are nearly tied along a razor's edge with a margin too close for comfort. I sit unsatisfied. I feel an opening where I had before been tightly closed. What will it be? I surrender the outcome to the earth, to her wisdom, beyond my human needs and conceptions. I break the habit of screen addiction, even for this moment, as I interrupt my pattern of scrolling to keep a safe distance between my sacred center and exposing myself to the storm. What do I do more than that? How can I be to embrace the world that will become after this transition? I wonder to myself. My alarm tolls again, a relaxing chime that feels almost condescending. I sit up Pull the cozy covers off of my warm body and put my feet on the ground.